know that Emirates airline is a plane junkie, ordering a considerable amount of planes, for example 50 A380s, 40 Dreamliners and 150 Boeing 777Xs. But the question that many people are asking, does the airline have that kind of money to buy straight from the manufacturer? And the simple answer is, no. Now in order to understand the reason behind this, we have to understand the concept of leasing. It's relatively simple and is borrowing from a company that has already bought the aircraft and returning the plane after a set duration that was agreed with the leaser. On a more smaller and humanized scale, it's like us wanting to lease a car. You go to a leaser, pick out your car, agree the duration and payment and return it once you're done. Simple. Now the surprising thing to many people is coming to realize that Emirates Airline has rarely bought any of their planes outright. Now the situation is very complicated, involving a bit of politics, economics and delivery schedules, but the airline is able to negotiate with the manufacturer regarding the total sum price and the schedule of their delivery. Now once the payment by the leaser has been made, and in this example Airbus, the plane is ready for delivery and a typical leasing agreement stands for 10 years or so. Now once that agreement has finished, the aircraft is returned and hopefully both the airline and the leaser have both profited from this exchange. Now the problem arises from the A380 is that the plane is very difficult to find a customer in the second hand market and this is one of the reasons why the plane is seen as a bad investment because nobody really wants it due to its sheer size. For example, take Singapore Airlines. Once the leasing agreement had finished with them, they parked the plane and didn't give a about the plane. They have no links to it whatsoever and they don't really care what happens to it. The only connection that they had with the plane is that they used to operate once upon a time. Also take High Fly. Very hard to find a customer so they operate charter flights here and there and that's about it. But the reality of the situation is, is that the airline doesn't have the means to buy their planes outright. But if you're happy to operate a plane that has been used, then you can often get a great price for it, which is why the second hand market is booming with two engine wide bodies. This is why cargo airlines buy old aircraft, and why US airlines have old fleets with an average age of around 15 to 20 years. So to answer the question, does Emirates have the money to buy every single plane? Well, the answer is nah. Now Airbus can't lease to Emirates cause the leasing model is unprofitable, so the price effectively rises to cover the cost. The likelihood is that they don't own most of their fleet, because they can't afford to buy them from the manufacturer, even though they make around $1 billion of profit every year. They can't afford to pay $50 to $100 billion on every order because they don't have that kind of money. Perhaps if they saved every penny for the next 100 years, then yeah perhaps they could, but in reality, it's a very difficult task. So Captains, I hope you found this video to be informative. Share your thoughts and opinions and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one.